The anterior triangle is bordered laterally by the sternocleidomastoid muscle, whose muscle belly can be seen just here. And it's bordered medially by the median line of the neck, which we saw earlier, and superiorly by the body of the mandible, which makes up the lower jaw. And you can imagine that the apex of the anterior triangle is pointing towards the manubrium of the sternum. The anterior triangle of the neck is further divided into smaller triangles, the submandibular triangle, the submental triangle, the carotid triangle, and the muscular triangle, which will be discussed shortly. Let's now have a look at the submandibular triangle, which is situated inferior to the mandible, where the submandibular glands are located just as the name suggests. The triangle is bordered superiorly by the mandible, and the anterior and posterior bellies of the digastric muscle. The floor of the submandibular triangle is made by the mylohyoid muscle, as well as the hyoglossus muscle, which also forms the floor of the oral cavity. The triangle is also covered by the skin, fascia and the platysma, which is the thin superficial muscle of the neck. And the covering or the roof of all the triangles will be the same. The submandibular triangle contains many structures, therefore making it an important anatomical location. The mylohyoid muscle divides the submandibular triangle into a superficial and deep compartment. And in the superficial layer of the triangle, you'll find the submandibular gland and its lymph nodes. The facial artery with its corresponding vein runs through the gland and gives off a branch called the submental artery, which will supply the chin area together with the submental vein. The mylohyoid nerve, which arises from the mandibular branch of the trigeminal nerve, innervates the mylohyoid muscle and the anterior belly of the digastric muscle and can also be found in the submandibular triangle. In the deep layer of the submandibular triangle, the geniohyoid muscle that is seen in the midline of the floor of the oral cavity and the hyoglossus muscle, which is one of the tongue muscles, are seen. And this small highlighted lingual artery and vein can also be found in the deep layer of the submandibular triangle. If you found this quick anatomy or physiology video helpful, you'll enjoy our video tutorials even more. Click on the button and you'll see what I mean. We have hundreds of videos available to our premium members, not to mention all the fun quizzes, complete articles and atlas sections to solidify your knowledge. Click on the button in the middle to watch the full-length video and master anatomy and physiology.